right, everybody. Welcome back. We have a <laughs> we have a few more things that we need to discuss um, before the end of the year. One of those things is photosynthesis. Woo <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started, uh, and let's talk about photosynthesis. Okay, so how do living things get energy from the sun? Uh, let's do an example. On a uh, in Africa. Uh, a herd of zebras, for instance, are going to be eating the grass. Lion's going to come around and eventually eat one of those zebras. Um, both the zebra and lion are using the food that they eat uh, to get energy. Uh, their cells need energy to carry out their functions, whether that be making proteins, transporting things into and out of the cell, whatever it may be, but they need energy in order to do that. Uh, the zebra supplies the lion with the energy where is the zebra getting their energy? They're getting their energy from the grass uh, that they're eating. So what it all boils down to is how do these very first things, how do these plants uh, get their energy? Well, they use their sunlight to do that. The sun is the source of energy in most ecosystems, which is just a community of organisms. Uh, it can be made up of abiotic or non-living factors and of course biotic or living factors. Um, and what happens is the cells capture that sunlight and they use it to make their food. And that whole process is called photosynthesis. So again, what it boils down to is that all living things obtain their energy directly or indirectly uh, from the energy of the sun uh, through this process of photosynthesis. Okay, so let's talk about a few different types of organisms. Um, an organism that makes their own food is called a producer. It also can be called an autotroph. Um, an organism that can't make its own food, like you and I, are called heterotrophs, heterotrophs excuse me, or consumers. Um, heterotrophs that absorb their food from dead or decaying organisms, not us hopefully, are decomposers. So if everything boils down to how uh, those producers um, create their own food in the process of photosynthesis, let's talk about what happens during photosynthesis. Okay, so plants and even some organisms are gonna be absorbing energy from the sun and they're gonna use that energy to convert the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and the water that they get uh, into sugars and oxygen. There, and there are a couple stages uh, to the process of photosynthesis. The first stage, getting that sun's energy. <clears throat> getting that sun's energy. There are organelles inside plant cells that are called chloroplasts. And those chloroplasts capture the energy from the sunlight using a pigment called chlorophyll. And then they convert uh, that energy into something that can be used in the second stage of photosynthesis. But specifically what's happening in stage one is water that's in the chloroplast is split into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is ended up being given off as a waste product and hydrogen uh, is reserved and saved for stage two. Now, let's talk about that pigment for a second. Why are plants green? Aw, poor little Carmi. Well, we've talked recently about the electromagnetic spectrum and that very small portion of visible light um, that we, the, the light that we can see. And those different wavelengths of visible light are seen by us as different colors. So if we take a look at this cardinal, for instance, uh, the feathers of the cardinal are this beautiful red uh, pigment color. Uh, those pigments absorb some of those wavelengths of light and they reflect some wavelengths of light. Okay, so now that, uh, so that sunlight minus whatever is being absorbed equals the color of the object. So again, what's being reflected. So again, let's get back to why those grants are, are why those plants are green, because that chlorophyll is reflecting the green pigment. 
Okay, but those chloroplasts are absorbing that light energy and they are converting it into chemical energy, something that the cell can use. Okay, so that takes us to stage two. How does that energy make food? Well, in stage two, uh, those cells are going to be producing sugars. We have that hydrogen that's left over from the splitting of the water. We have carbon dioxide that the leaves can take in through openings called stomata. Um, and that carbon dioxide is used by the chloroplast uh, with the hydrogen. It undergoes a series of chemical reactions. And then what we get from that is sugar. We get C6H12O6. We get glucose. We also get some oxygen, which of course is released back into the atmosphere. Um, and that is, of course, the oxygen that you and I breathe. Okay, so real quick overview of photosynthesis. We are, what is happening here is those producers, those autotrophs are using light energy to make sugar and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water. Pretty cool. And let's take a look at the actual equation for photosynthesis. Uh, we have six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water. What we're ending up with is one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen. But again, take a look at that reaction. It is a nice balanced reaction. And those sugars can be used by the cells for food. These sugar molecules get broken down to release energy. Plants store the sugar molecules that they can use at later times. And of course, when we eat those plants, we are eating that stored energy. Okay, so that is one of the um, cycles of matter uh, that we're going to be talking about uh, in the next week or two. Talk to you soon.